Central Moscow was supposed to be hosting the city's official Russia Day celebrations on Monday, but opposition leader Alexei Navalny had other ideas. Thousands of young supporters answered his call, effectively hijacking Moscow's festivities. He's talking about corruption in Russia. He's like a transparency international company, you know. So the same he do in Russia, he's uh, talking about corruption and shows to people how do uh, Putin uh, and his friends living in a big uh, castle. Corruption, yes, is the biggest problem, but Putin is the leader of the corruption, Putin Medvedev, because uh, Putin and corruption is the same word. <laughs> this is not where Navalny's rally was permitted to be. The last-minute change was his response to alleged pressure by the mayor's office on companies to deny him access to audio-visual equipment for the demo. From the moment that Alexei Navalny moved the location of this process right into the centre of Moscow, it became officially unsanctioned, and that means arrests are going to be happening. Sure enough, to shouts of shame, shame from the crowd, police snatch squads went on the prowl. <laughs> then the charges started, forcing the crowd to turn and flee. Hundreds were detained in Moscow, hundreds more in similar rallies across this vast country. Navalny himself ended up in police custody as he left home for the demo. Before it started, I caught up with political analyst Maria Lippmann to ask her why the renegade presidential hopeful is a headache for the government. So the closer the presidential election in March 2018, the more nervous, the more jittery, the more concerned the authorities become. And instead of just letting him do yet another rally, uh, they uh, uh, do everything to disrupt it. And this leads to escalation. And this is where we are today. And Navalny's achievement is to rouse a new generation of Russians from their political slumber. But shouting up at the Kremlin's towers is not enough, as long as Putin's system keeps the gates to power so firmly shut. Rory Challenge, Al Jazeera, Moscow.